mightiest prophet of the Lord? Amen. Now, uh, the Lord Jehovah spoke with me yesterday at night. The Lord, the Holy God of Israel, the eternal King, Jehovah El Olam, the God of Israel. Uh, he spoke with me in a very tremendous way yesterday. The first part, he took me to Israel, and then some meetings were beginning to take place in Israel. People begin to gather that I might speak with them, and they were asking about peace as I brought the message of the Lord. And I could see that their hearts were still not ready to receive the Lord. The Lord opened up all their hearts to me. I could see the meeting. And in the second part, so they were preparing the meeting. They were willing to listen. They knew that they have to listen to this. They knew that this is important. They knew that this is the prophet of Israel, the mighty prophet of Israel, and they were all gathered to listen, but they were, their hearts were in much pain because they wanted peace to be addressed. They wanted the men of God to talk about the peace of Israel. And yet he had gone there to talk to them about the coming of the Messiah. The Messianic days are at hand. They have drawn nigh. And the message of repentance has been preached. It is still being preached. The message of the return to righteousness is still being preached. The message of the treasure of holiness as the single most important standard of heaven is still being preached to the ends of the earth. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 14 is still being preached for without holiness. Nobody will see the Lord. Has been preached. He is still being preached. Will still be preached tomorrow morning. At this hour, the nations have already heard the announcement on the glorious return of the Messiah. The creepers are walking. The blind can now see. The deaf ears can now hear. The deaf can hear. The dumb can speak. HIV AIDS has been healed and tested in senior top university hospitals in this land. Aga Khan University Hospital, Nairobi Hospital, many hospitals all over this country, provincial general hospitals, Blood groups have changed from B minus to what positive, and now they have babies. They are babies. Tomorrow, as they go to church, they will carry those babies with them to church. They will still have those documents, and their blood groups will still have changed. Leprosy has been cleansed. Spinal cord injuries have been healed. Paralytics are walking. The lunatics, those who are possessed of evil spirits, have been restored. And are still being restored. All diseases under the sun are being healed. The dead are resurrecting. The dead decomposing cops are now resurrecting. And the gospel of the kingdom of God is being preached. So the Messiah is coming. The Messiah is coming. Prepare ye the way. This is him about whom it was written in scripture, in the Bible, when the Lord God promised the nations of the earth that I'll send you a messenger to go ahead of you and prepare you and lead you to the promise. May those who have ears prepare in holiness and righteousness 
and turn away from sexual sin. Turn away from lies. Turn away from the gospel of money. You see, in many, many nations and churches, including Nairobi here, many churches preaching money, falsehood, false prophets, the Messiah is coming. May those who have ears prepare for the glorious coming of the Lord. Shalom to Araba Lahem.